guys and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I'll be making an Ayurvedic rice water shampoo using a few all natural ingredients. This shampoo will help to enhance the quality of your hair, increase hair growth and nourish your hair from root to tip. So let's get right into it. This recipe calls for a few main ingredients. The first ingredient I'll be using is rice water. Rice water contains inositol which helps strengthen elasticity contains vitamins B, C, and E, and amino acids, which helps in hair regeneration, and it also decreases shedding. The next two ingredients is fenugreek and aloe. Fenugreek is known for its powerful hair growth benefits. It prevents shedding and remedies dandruff. Aloe vera promotes hair growth. It prevents scalp itch and conditions your hair. The next ingredient I'll be using is an Ayurvedic shampoo bar. This shampoo bar is packed with the most powerful hair growth herbs ever. It promotes stronger, healthier new growth, strengthens your hair shaft and conditions and cleanses your hair gently. If you're unable to get the Ayurvedic shampoo bar, you can substitute it with organic African black soap. The next ingredient I'll be using is hibiscus. Hibiscus prevents hair loss, it prevents premature graying, it promotes hair growth and adds shine and bounce to your hair. And lastly, you can use whatever essential oils that you choose. In this video, I'll be using peppermint and tea tree oil. To get started, I'm going to start by straining one cup of fermented rice water into a jar. Although I did go over just a little bit, but that's okay. And if you'd like to see how I prepare my rice water, please click in the link above. Next, I'll add a fourth cup of fenugreek and aloe juice. You can also see in the link above how I prepared this mixture. I have a tablespoon of hibiscus and I'll whisk that right into the liquid. Next I'm going to cut and dice up a little over half of the shampoo bar. While I'm working on this, I'm going to heat up the liquid in the microwave so once I put my shampoo pieces into the liquid, it will begin to dissolve. So now that I have the mixture all prepared and ready to use, I'm going to go ahead and start applying it to my hair. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, for my hair. So right now my hair is feeling really really good, really really amazing. It is very soft and airy and lightweight and moisturized and hydrated and it just looks very shiny and super super soft and it just feels very nourished from all of the ingredients from this DIY. It's almost like every single hair strand has been individually kissed by every single natural ingredient in this DIY. So I am really, really excited. My hair feels good. So I'm going to actually style my hair off camera because I'm not going to use camera time to do that. And then I'm going to jump back on and um, just finish out the video. So I will be right back. So I'm back and my hair is completely styled. I just did a protective style with two flat twists going back, which look 
horrible. <laughs> it's not the best flat twist um, that I've ever done, but I don't know. I just couldn't get it together, but this is what it looks like. So back to the shampoo. So I will say that this DIY, I absolutely love this uh, recipe. So this is my first time trying this recipe. I've seen other people's recipes, but I tweaked it to my own. So what I liked about it is one, it's very cleansing. My hair felt very clean, very nourished. It had great slip. It is low porosity friendly. It was very penetrating to my hair strands. So it just absorbed immediately into my hair and I was able to detangle and get my fingers to my hair really good. And I did all my detangling with my fingers alone, no tools. And the texture of my hair feels really, really good. So it was just very bouncy, had a lot of body, felt very full, it felt very light, as I stated earlier, just very um, healthy. It just felt very healthy. This is what I have left over, so I'm gonna use this on the next wash day. So I'm just gonna leave this in the refrigerator so that way the fermentation does stop. So yeah, so if you wanna give this little DIY a try, you can rewatch this video, or you can look in the description box below and I will have the recipe of how it is made. So I love DIYs, as you guys know, that's been following me, watching my channel, and my ultimate goal was to have all natural products for my wash day, from a pre-poo to shampoos, conditioners, um, leave-ins, and stylers. And I wanted to create my own uh, products, all natural products, so I can uh, use them for my wash day instead of reaching for commercial or store bought products, which are not bad, but I wanted to have an all natural lineup that I can go to that I can do myself. And I have been trying to find a way to do my own shampoo. I've been tweaking recipes. I've been just concocting stuff and just trying to come up with a good uh, DIY shampoo that I can use that promotes hair growth and is nourishing to the hair, retains length, and all those things. So everything that I get with this shampoo, the slip, the hydration, the moisture, the detangling, everything that I normally would look for in a commercial or store-bought store product, I have with this product. And it's all natural and I made it in the privacy of my own home. <laughs> so again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it does help my channel. And don't forget to comment and subscribe and share my content. It's just Janine. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye, guys.